the house price crash that could wreck your finances. Now, prices are starting to fall, mortgage arrears are starting to climb, developers are getting, going burst, and uh, others are stopping work in houses they can no longer sell. When the latest house price data for the UK released this week, everyone will be looking for signs that the market is starting to collapse. But there's a market we should be worrying about far more, the American one. And there are plenty of signs of a severe downturn in US property, with home sales down for 12 straight months in a row, the weakest set of numbers for more than a decade. Anyone who thinks that this is purely an American matter is kidding themselves. If the US market crashes, it will tip the economy into a recession and that will ripple out across the world. If there are losses and mortgages, it will threaten the stability of the financial market. It will determine what the Federal Reserve will do with interest rates affecting every country's economy. In 2008, the collapse of the subprime mortgage market triggered a global financial crisis. It has happened before and it can happen again. With the interest rate quadrupling over the last year, the British property market is not exactly looking healthy. Right Move reported last week that home prices have stalled with the weakest figure since the outline, online agency started comp compiling figures. The Royal Institution of Chatter Surveyors reported that the market was at its weakest since 2009. Even so, it is hardly a catastrophe, at least not yet. Prices are stable and not yet falling, or at least not very significantly. It is a very different, different picture on the other side of the Atlantic. In many major cities, prices are now falling in absolute terms. In San Francisco, where many of the tech layoffs are concentrated, they are down by 7 PC this year. In Oakland, they are down by 4.5 PC, and in New York, by 1 PC. Meanwhile, with the Federal Reserve continuing to push up interest rate aggressively and with inflation stubbornly refusing to come under control, the outlook is increasingly bleak. True figures released on Friday showed new home sales picking up in January, but measured on an annualized basis, they are still down by almost a quarter year on year. It is not a crash yet, but it is very close to one. Now, what happens to house prices will make the difference between whether there is a hard or a soft landing. The Fed is trying to engineer by far the hardest trick in the central banking playbook, slowing the economy down and bringing inflation back under control, but without triggering a full-scale recession. It sounds straightforward enough, but it's very hard to achieve in practice. What happens to the housing market will prove the key to whether it succeeds or fails. If the property market stabilizes but remains broadly flat for a year, then uh, consumer demand will only weaken slightly and we can expect nothing worse than a mild slowdown. If prices crater, it will be a different story with demand collapsing and a full-scale downturn all but inevitable. And if the U.S. goes into recession, so will the rest of the global economy because America is about the only thing that is holding it up. Next, a housing crash will ripple out into the financial market. There is uh, $18 trillion, approximately $15 trillion pounds of outstanding mortgage debt in the U.S. market compared with $14 trillion in 2007 at the peak of the last boom. The rules of mortgages mean it is a lot easier to simply walk away from your debt than it is in the U.K. You lose your house and your credit score takes a bit in, but if your property drops significantly in value, it can still be an attractive option. Even worse, and despite increased regulation, mortgages are still packed up and sold around the world. In reality, solvency of the American financial system remains critically dependent on the health of the housing market. If it uh, starts to crash, it could easily take down banks, hedge funds, and fund managers as well, and that will hit the rest of the global economy very hard. Finally, it will determine monetary policy, not to mention the likely outcome of the next presidential election. The, the Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rate by another percentage point at most and then gently start easing again. But if the house prices crash, all bets are off. So does Jerome Powell, the Fed chair, believe it is his job to rescue the market? Or will he make control into inflation the priority? Or will he immediately reverse course and dramatically cut interest rate to solve the market fearful of the repeat and the mistake of 2007, 2008? And even if he did, can the property collapse be turned around once it has started? Or will it turn into full-scale panic? No one has a finished idea, including in all likelihood the Fed itself, but one thing is certain, it will be very messy. The stock market is bad and it will be a perfectly executed stock landing, but it is a touch and go. It was the U.S. housing market that started the 2008 financial crisis with subprime mortgages turning sour, triggering banking collapses, collapses in every major economy. We are all keeping a watchful eye on house prices in the U.K., but right now it is a wobbly American market that is the biggest threat to the global economy.